Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be teaching you on how to disable VSync for Minecraft Bedrock Edition, specifically for Windows 10. And this will potentially double, triple, or even quadruple the amount of FPS that you normally get in Minecraft. Holy smoke. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Now, first things first, this is for people who has an NVIDIA GPU. Make sure that you right click on your home screen and make sure you go to the NVIDIA control panel or you could just go to the bottom right, go to NVIDIA, just right click on it and then go to NVIDIA control panel either or they're the same thing. I'm just going to right click, go to NVIDIA control panel. Easy. And you need to do this because um, some of your drivers may like not allow you to, you know, turn off VSync on a game. So this is going to allow you to just basically turn that off and just keep going if that makes sense. So after you are in the video control panel, go to 3D, manage 3D settings. Make sure this is on global settings. And what you want to do is scroll down until you see VSync. So vertical sync. Um, use the 3D application settings. So what you want to do is make sure that this is off. This is going to make sure that um, this doesn't interfere with Honest Client and the VSync legitimately works for Minecraft, literally. Once you do that, make sure you click on apply and then you are good to go. This is only for NVIDIA GPU. So if you have an AMD GPU, if you could do the same thing, please do the same thing. All right, VSync is now off completely. It's not being managed by any applications whatsoever. After that, what you want to do is go to the Honest Client Discord. The link will be down below. You see all of these, it may look a little bit confusing. It's right there, the download section. What you want to do is download the Onyx launcher. It says recommended and I recommend it myself. It's much easier, it gets the job done and it does automatically update as well. But if you already have Onyx client, you guys may be having a little issue and I'll, I'll talk about that like just in a bit. So download Onyx launcher and your PC may say it's a virus and all that, et cetera. It's not a virus. Anything that launches in another app, even if it's safe, Windows just does not like it. So just make sure you allow your antivirus to use this launcher. And like I said, I promise it is not a virus. I've used this for pff, over a year now and it's done nothing but greatness for me. Now this next step you can skip if you don't have Honest Client, but if you already have Honest Client and you're having this issue, let me show you. So if you're having this issue, you go to Honest Client, you already have it, you click on launch and it says this, please update the client. This is so easy to fix, it's not even funny. Let me show you how to fix this real quick. So first things first, close Minecraft, close Honest Client, and what you wanna do is right click on your little uh, start button, hit run, and then I want you to type this, percentage local app data percentage. And even if it does this for you guys who just downloaded Honest Client, just do the step, just in case. So percentage local app data percentage, click on okay. Now I want you to scroll down until you see Onyx launcher, bada bing bada boom. And what you wanna do is delete the honest client.dll. This is the old one, you need the new DLL. So what we're gonna do is just drag this into the recycle bin, easy. Now what you wanna do is go back into the honest client discord and hit the download the DLL. Um, we're just basically gonna be replacing the DLL, it's fairly simple, it gets the job done. All right, yep, there we go, we have it downloaded. Um, we're gonna save as, uh, yeah, we, make sure it's the same name by the way. So we're just gonna replace this one. Um, easy. There we go. And what we're going to do is just, uh, yeah, we could just open up another folder real quick. There we go. We got the Onyx client that DLL. So simply what you want to do is just have both folders open and you just drag this Onyx client right into Minecraft and then beautiful. You're good to go right into the Onyx client folder to be exact. And then now everything should work perfectly fine. And now we could proceed on to the next steps. There we go. Onyx client is now enabled. Beautiful good stuff and then you know that you did everything correctly if you click on l um when you're in the world or it says honest client on top it truly is on top beautiful now what we're gonna do is simply go into a flat world and show you that this legitimately works i'm excited all right so i'm pretty sure my vsync is already disabled but you still want to do this i'm getting literally 300 i should not be getting over 240 fps because i do have a 240 hertz monitor but what you want to do now is click on L or it may be a different, it might be right next to the L, the two little dots, something like that, who knows. And what you want to do is click on L, go to module settings, and then this is your global settings right here. You can notice that it has all these Onyx, open Onyx keybind. You can also change that if you'd like, if you don't want it, easy peasy. But the main thing we're here is to disable VSync. So what you want to do is go all the way down until you see force disable VSync. Because sometimes Minecraft will still have VSync open or on no matter what. I don't know why. What you want to do is hit this right here and you can limit your FPS. So um, yeah, if you want to, you can. But if you just want to have the most amount of FPS, you just leave this on zero. Um, the most you can put this on is like literally 523. There we go, beautiful. So now that's uh, wonderful, good stuff, good stuff. And um, yeah, we should be good to go. Go back and the FPS should be much higher than usual. And you could tell that this works because if we go to module settings and we literally put our FPS to like 
six nine you can see that our fps is now limited to 66 or 69 it's, it's it's close it's close i don't think the fps counter is too accurate but then we can go all the way to like 2 182 and you can see that the most it goes is to uh 180 yeah that's bad that's bad let me let me let me let me turn it off real quick let's go all the way back there we go wonderful so that's how you disable vsync for minecraft windows 10 edition if this worked for you guys please let me know in the comments below i know some of y'all who have been stuck on like 60 fps now you should be getting way more but this may overheat your device as well so if that's the case make sure you lower your fps to something lower um and that should fix the issue it even tells you on the client that it will um it will cause your cpu and gpu usage to go up and it may uh you know overheat your device but if you want to prevent it like i said just let me fps and you should be good to go but thank y'all for watching this video it is your boy pat's i'll see you on the next one peace out <laughs>